And so I just want to start by sharing this scripture, uh, Deuteronomy 1.8. And see, I've given you the land. Go and take it, possession of the land that the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to their descendants afterwards. Listen, you and I have promises, and it's time to take possession of those promises. He's already given them to us. And so Christianity is not static. It's always moving. And he's always doing. God is never shaken by, oh, I didn't know that this virus was going to come to the earth. You know, he's never shaken by what's happening on the earth. God's plan is moving. Now, what he's doing is looking for people who are going to walk with him and partner with him with what he's doing at this time. Is there anybody in the Northeast region that will partner with what God is doing at this time? Now, when I stepped into this territory this time, I want to say that I felt a strength. And New York City is an outlier to this territory. And it always wants all of the attention. And we're going to see great revival in New York City. We're going to see God do great things in New York City. But I'm going to tell you what I felt in this region and what I feel to release. Is that this, rele this region is so strong and so deep and that there is a financial shift that is getting ready to take place from this region and in this region. So I was riding yesterday in the car and I saw the sign of Morgan Stanley and the Lord said, I'm shifting now. I'm shifting now. So right now, if you know you have an economic assignment over you to bring wealth into the kingdom, will you please stand up? Shift, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. From the demonic structures, from the greed, from the robbery to the, from the slavery and the manipulation. Shift right now, Lord, and bring the wealth that you promised your people that you said we would possess right now in the name of Jesus. Strategies in the name of Jesus, Lord, right now. God, I decree that the knowledge of the metaverse will drop into your people right now in the name of Jesus. And great strategies of wealth will be released in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. And so I felt that yesterday. And then I also felt that this is not the southeast, the northeast region is not a region that plays. You mean business. And so the enemy wants to keep you distracted. And like Jennifer was speaking about, get healed, get free. Get delivered. Get in community. Be teachable. But roar like a lion. Roar like a lion. I see this region roaring like a lion in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, right now I decree the roar. The roar of the Northeast. That the nation and the nations of the world will hear the roar of the Northeast by the power of the blood of Jesus. No longer, no longer, no longer will you be silent, but your voice is coming out like a mighty, 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 mighty roar, like a water, a roaring waters are coming out of this place. I saw the coronation and, and the Rosellis. I saw it over you, but it, it is to all the ap apostles of this region. If you're an apostle in this region, will you please stand? Thank you, 
I saw a coronation. The Lord is putting his royalty in this region. And you will command armies. You will command and make decrees that must, because of your coronation, must happen. And so there's a new level of authority coming into this region. There's a new level of authority coming into the apostles. So will everybody stretch your hand toward these apostles as representation of every apostle in the Northeast? And we call forth the apostles and the prophets that are supposed to walk beside them. If you are a prophet in the Northeast, will you please stand? And Lord, we decree that order in the fivefold is coming into the Northeast. We decree that on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, that we're going to see the fivefold come out in maturity. In maturity in the name of Jesus. And I decree new life. And as this new era, this shifting, they will learn to navigate quickly and with great excellence and wisdom by the power of the blood of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. The last thing that I heard for this region was it's time to take your families back. It's time to take your families back. So God created the family. It was God's idea. God said what a marriage was. It's all in the Bible. God said that a marriage is between a man and a woman. And God is the one that decreed over this earth the order of the family. And so you and I are coming out with loud, strong, clear, directive voices. And we're taking our families back. And they're not going to be robbed anymore. They're not going to be battered anymore. They're not going to be beat up anymore. They're not going to be lied about and lied to anymore. But we're going to see some of the strongest family units come up overnight. So for every person that has a prodigal right now, please stand up. Look in the spirit. You're seeing them come down the road. I bind hopelessness off you in the name of Jesus. I bind fatigue off you in the name of Jesus. I bind hurt off you in the name of Jesus. And I release the healing of Jesus Christ in his blood over you and your family. Look, you have eyes to see. You have eyes to see. Your prodigal is coming home. You have eyes to see. Your prodigal is coming home. But it's coming home with an attitude that I belong in this family. I want to be home. I want to be home. You're going to see your prodigal live their destiny by the power and the blood of Jesus. Will you with your voice say amen? What did you say? What did you say? Let it be as you have said. Amen.